Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. I know there's a lot of people about at the moment with financial problems, health problems, and uh, everything in between. So I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, a little update on what's going on in my life. I've recently been made partially redundant. I've had two part-time jobs, and sadly due to uh, somebody passing away. Um, it was not related to the coronavirus, but um, that's left me partially um, out of work. I'm still okay because I had two two jobs, but it's a sad time. Plus, also the financial side of things as well. So, um, like a lot of people at the moment, I'm going to have to find alternative ways of earning income. Now, one way I used to earn income before my previous job um, was cleaning windows. I needed a practical vehicle anyway to put car parts in engines in gearboxes whatever for for you know future car projects so i was thinking something along the lines of a pickup truck and then when this sort of situation happened i slightly changed my um idea of what i wanted to go for from a mitsubishi l200 to something that can uh carry window cleaning equipment now obviously you've probably seen window cleaners in the little cars you know with a ladder on the top and a bucket in the boot that's the way i used to do it back in the day but um, more recently now I'm um, going to go down the waterfed pole route. Now, the way to do that, you actually have to have a really big tank. So at least 500 litres of water, very heavy, and it's not something you can do in a car. You have to have, you know, a proper vehicle for the job, whether that's, you know, a pickup truck, a van, a truck, something like that. Something that can hold a lot of weight. There's a lot of brand loyalty in my family as well to a particular brand. Now, I'm sort of the odd one out. I've not really got much loyalty to the brand, but they make good vans. There's no denying that. So that's enough sort of speculation. Let's have a look at what I've bought. Here it is. It's a Volkswagen Caddy 2011, and it's the long wheel base version, which basically is it's called the Maxi. So it has sliding doors. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty big actually. Uh, it's a 1.6 litre engine, um, 100 horsepower, I think it does about 45, 50 to the gallon. It's not very fast, um, I don't really care about that at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's not very fast. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to, even my 1.2 Fiat Punto felt noticeably quicker. Now it's a pretty clean, honest van, um, low miles, 100 odd thousand, and it's got some aftermarket alloy wheels on it. They're in pretty good nick and I have, I knew I saw them somewhere and all of a sudden it popped into my head, 2005 Audi A3. So I Google pictures and yeah, I think they're off an F3. So when it comes to starting work, it's got the roof racks, I can put it straight to work and I can start earning money with it. Let's have a look in the back. So that's plenty big enough for what I need. It's got some shelves down the side. They'll probably be coming out. And then down the right side. You've got some shelves here. Or you could take out them shelves and you could have it as, you know, a, um, you know, access uh, all the way through. So there's my little bucket. I don't know, I like these, I'll probably keep them. But I might adjust them slightly to fit my tools. Tinted windows on the front. Um, I think it was well looked after. And I think, obviously this is me being 100% judgmental. I think the previous owner who had it for about five months probably just used it as a van. Didn't really take too much care of it. But I think it's held up pretty well. And I don't think that... Um, is, is going to be too difficult to put right. So I haven't even cleaned it. I want to give it a good clean. I want to smarten it up, do a couple of little jobs, and then basically build it for my business with some sign writing on it. So got a few plans for the van. Obviously, priority is to get it to work, get it paying its way, because it is a van, it is a workhorse. But there's a massive modifying scene for these and you know what I'm like. I can't resist it. I'll be out buying parts for it before long. <laughs> I've only had it about two hours and I was already looking at hybrid turbos online, but I don't think I'm replacing the turbo just to get to 160 brake. No chance, especially on a 
on a van that's going to be paying the bills. Now, I think these can be taken out by a PDR guy. Now, I'm struggling. I've not been able to find one in the Ronda or, I don't know, I can't find one. But if any of you guys know one, put him my way. Put him down in the comments and I will happily drive to a good guy. But if he can come to me, then he'll be able to uh, do the Evo as well. So, yeah, if you know any good PDR guys, send them my way. Now, looking at the interior, this is as I bought it. Um, yeah, not bad, nothing special. You can see it needs a good clean, but I think it's gonna clean up really, really nice. And window cleaning, it's not that dirty a job. So if you clean this out and put some nice uh, nice mats in, wet back the seats, <coughs> there shouldn't be any reason that, um, you know, they're gonna get wrecked. So uh, it's definitely worth trying to preserve the interior. There we are, I'm on my wide angle lens now. So. It's quite a basic interior. We've got just this basic radio aircon. Um, now, I couldn't figure out to save my life how to adjust the mirrors when I bought it. And this is just Volkswagen in a nutshell. Electric uh, manual windows. Even my Punto had electric windows. And the mirrors, well, you basically got to open the window and move them by hand. You don't even have a wiggle stick. So I thought that was quite interesting. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Really looking forward to putting it to work and when I'm ready to start to actually smarten the van up. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.